Hi there. I'm Mehak from Drawing Room and today in this video I'm going to explain how to draw and paint a steel container box using Canon poster colors. Pro tip: To make any object look real, always color it using three tones of the shade that is dark, medium and light and then add the highlights and shadows at appropriate places. If you are unsure about where to place which tone and shade, just follow the guidance from the object displayed in front of you. If you have any doubts or queries, you can post them in the comment section below and I'll be replying to you as soon as possible. Kindly like, share and subscribe before you move ahead. Watch the full video as there are some important instructions throughout. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we'll make a grid for our container. Two horizontal lines for the top and the bottom and three vertical lines for the middle, left and right edges of the object. Now, we will draw the lid from a perspective. To draw it, we make a symmetrical oval shape. This is the thickness of the lid. We make two more similar curves keeping the same width between them. Now, for the bottom of the container, we will make an oval of the same size as the lid and then erase the part which falls behind. This is an important point to notice that to make perfect drawings, we make even those parts which are not visible to our eyes. Finally, erase all the grid lines and to give it the look of a lid, make a smaller oval inside this lid. We will use the shades cobalt blue, white, black and red, which is optional. Remember, cobalt blue is the most important shade to add while coloring steel containers. Follow this color mixing and color along. First, we will do the base color in vertical direction. Light is falling from the left hand side. So, this is the part where we show darkness. And this part is for the highlight part. We now slowly add the dark tones and merge them using the damp brush technique. I have shown the damp brush technique in my previous videos. Add a little cobalt blue. Just keep following this process of dark and light colors and finally add highlights with a crisp white color. We follow the same technique for the lid. Remember, color it using shades and tints in vertical direction only.
this is the part where the box and the lid meet and the clearer we show this part the more the object looks real another important point to remember color this part in horizontal direction We will add shadows using black shade. You have to be really careful while using black as it might spoil your whole drawing. Similarly, we color the top part of the lid with darker color on its sides. After completing the base color, we add highlights and shadows wherever applicable. The more detailing you provide, the more real your object looks. That's why it's necessary to practice all the objects at least 3 to 4 times separately and then go ahead with the whole composition of still life together. Now we will make the shadow of the object on the floor and its reflection back onto the object since its surface is glossy
since the light is falling from the left hand side we will show this shadow to the right of the object important always understand the relationship between the light and the object this will help you understand where to show shadow and the highlights the area near to the object will be darker and as we go further away the color of the shadow starts to fade away i hope you liked the tutorial keep practicing and don't forget to post your feedback and questions in the comment section below thank you